As a follow up to a video that I did a couple of days ago, I thought I'd demonstrate um, printing from the Samsung Galaxy S3 via an OTG cable to an HP printer. All we need um, is the small OTG adapter, so that's the, the small cable that, that goes in the bottom of the phone there and gives you a, a USB socket on this end. The printer is set up and, and running at the moment. Um, it's got a USB cable plugged in. Um, you may ask why I would be printing to, to a, a Wi-Fi enabled printer um, via OTG and it's a valid question um, but Wi-Fi is not the best solution for everything. For example I've got one of these printers in a van um, so that when I go out to a customer I can print the invoices or any instructions that they need. To do that you need a Wi-Fi router in, in the van and whilst you're connected to the Wi-Fi router you won't have internet access because it, it cuts it off. So if you need to print something off the internet for them you can't connect to the printer to print it whilst you're, you're downloading the file. So the solution is to, to print by OTG, um, it means that you can still have full full access to the internet um, whilst whilst you're you're printing. Now, after my last video, where when I mentioned that it was possible to to do this by OTG, I've had a few responses from people saying, you know, I'm pressing the print button, um, but it just pops up and says that I need a Samsung printer or something like that. So, you know, this is one of the reasons for doing this video, just to show the correct way, because predominantly it's just because you're doing it wrong. Now, I've not previously set up this, this printer on this phone, so you'll have to go through the steps of, of setting up um, the drivers and that for it. But here we have it. If I unlock the phone, if we take a look up at the top here, when I plug in the cable, okay, it says USB connector connected and printer connected. So it knows that we've got a, a printer currently attached here. Now the problem that most people have um, when trying to print in this way is they open an email or something. Here's a test one I've sent to myself. Press the menu button down here and press the print button. It says getting printer info. Um, this will normally fail um, saying that you have to have a, a Samsung printer. They yeah, are printer not supported. So I'll show you the proper way of doing it. What you need to do is go to the App Store and install a piece of software called Printer Share. There you go. It's a brilliant piece of software. Um, you, you can print to all sorts of, of printers here. If we go to, to Select Printer, um, you can choose what printer you want to do. I'm currently set up to use, at the moment, Google Cloud Printing on A5 paper. Um, if we go Select Printer, you have the ch option here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB, Cloud Print or Remote Printer. Obviously, we're using a nearby USB, but you can, with this software, go to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or even Google Cloud. It's a brilliant piece of software. So if we choose USB, OK, allow that app to print a share to access a USB device. Um, I'll say yes, do that by default. Default. It's detected here that we've got an HP PhotoSmart printer. It's a C310, which is actually correct. Um, so I'm going to touch on there. Um, it's already got the, the driver in there for this printer. It's set up for for letter paper, but we'll, we'll choose that change that in a second if you're in the States and you're probably using letter we use A4 over here in the UK now if you want to to print um, something like PDF documents I use Root Explorer you can use whatever you want um, but I'll show you in here if I find some okay Got some PDFs in here, and I've even got a Word document set up. So if we 
click on a PDF document, instead of opening it with anything else, if you open it with printer share, okay, it's got small print there, options, I can change the, the paper size now to to A4, and this will be remembered the next time we go to to print that that a a document. So now if I click print there, one one copy and there we go the printer's now accepted that that is going to print that document and there we have it, there's, there's the document straight out of that printer now there are numerous ways that you, you can print documents here so for example I've got a word document down down here again you can do the same thing open it in in printer share and there is is a preview of that document um, you can now print that another way of doing it um, if you've got quick office okay there's there's the document um, if you go down here always use the option send okay in whatever program you're in instead of pressing the print button um, which is normally the system driver press send and you'll get an option of all the ways that you can send it um, and one of those options is printer share and there it pops up you can do the same if I go back with with your PDF documents if you want to to view your PDF document before you print it um, you can then send that to to printer share it will go you can open documents directly within printer share itself um, so so pictures contacts calendar things like that but if I go to to documents um, if I go to my SD card to the same place we were just in this is a just a file browser that, that's built into to print a share PDFs invoice and select one of those and there you go and it would just be a case of clicking the print button and there you go we, we have another invoice popping out there are a large number of pieces of software on the phone that have that little send option um, I'll show you another another way here's Google Chrome okay if I open the XDA developers website on Google Chrome there we have the web page if I go to menu again share and we've got this menu here of all the ways that I can share this but down there is printer share it's loading that web page okay it's loaded that web page if I now click on on print um, you can choose which ones you're going to print there I click print and here we have the XDA page that I was on popping out the printer now okay I'm running out of black ink by the looks of it but there you go you've got an idea there's the printout of the XDA website okay we'll take a quick look at um, uh, if you receive an email um, which I've just done here um, if you receive an email and it's got an attachment that you want to print um, you can probably do exactly the same thing um, so there you go I've got an email down here there's an email it says it's got an attachment um, I need to just download that attachment uh, which is now done and it's instantly popped up with this. Now if I want first I can can view 
view it in Quick Office or Polaris Viewer, um, or you can just open it straight up in in Printer Share again. You can touch on it. There's a preview. That's what's going to print. If you go back and click the print button. So that's how you would do it from an email. Unfortunately, I've not yet found a way to to directly print the body of the email because the print option doesn't work. There is no send menu there. From the built-in Samsung, you can either copy and paste the body text in, into something um, like Quick Office, or your other option is to install something like Enhanced Email, um, Mail Droid, Touchdown, which does have the, the send or share option. Um, then you can print, print the body of the email. Okay, it's possible to, to print directly from the gallery. So if I just show you. Gallery, um, here's, here's a picture. If I wanted to send that, um, let's have a look. Um, there's, there's the whole picture as I've enlarged it. You've got the little share icon that's come up at the top of the screen. If we press on, on that, a small menu comes up. If we press see all and scroll down to the bottom, um, hold on, where's it gone? Okay, see all. Printer shares at the top because I've already used it, and in fact, um, if I, I press that there, you can print that off in the same as anything else. Um, but if I go back. to the gallery, what's now happened is the printer share icon has has appeared here as the last used option. So the next time you, you choose a picture, so let's choose another one. There we go, if I choose that, uh, it won't appear in this menu here. It instantly appears up there next to the share icon. And you can, can print it from from there. Okay, here's an example of another application I've got on here. Um, I do mobile invoicing, so I've got Mobile Biz Pro. If I go into some of these sales again and print as PDF, it will generate the PDF. Taking a little time as it goes over the internet, um, printer share, and there it is, and print, and it comes straight out the printer. So as you can see, you can do virtually everything apart from email bodies, um, but there are other programs that, that you can use that for. And in fact, printer share um, does allow you to to use your Gmail. Um, I don't have any. Gmail set up. Um, let's go. There you go. There's a Gmail icon down there. You can set it up to go to your your Gmail account. Um, allow access. This is if you use Gmail, which I don't. So th there's no no mail there. But if there was, I'd be able to select it and print. Hope that's been of help. If you have any questions then do ask in the comments below um, and I'll see if I can help you.